So, here it is. My XR250. Got it a few days ago. Um, just thought I'd, you know, there wasn't anything really that bad about it. Um, I got it quite cheap, 2800 uh, it's a 2003, it's got 11,000 Ks on it. Um, yeah, so I thought I would, you know, just make sure everything's alright with it before I um, did a motor vlog and all that. Um, yeah. So that's what it looks like. I hope you get a pretty good shot of it like this. Um, some people asked for some shots from the side, so there you go. That's what it looks like. Um, road registered as well, all that. So, um... Yeah, I am going to get some more off-road tyres, because these are a bit, um, you know, they're not too knobby. They're more of a road sort of um, bike tyre, so, yeah. I've already got a few stickers on here. Coolin HD, Lead Pin, Mongoose, Slippery Mongoose. And, yeah, I hope you guys like it. I'm going to do quite a few vlogs on this, um, mainly off-road. I got it mainly for off-road, as I got my FZ6R for my on-road bike. Um, main reason I got it registered was uh, I don't have a car with a trailer. So I thought, you know, I'll take this out. I've got a few guys, a few mates that have um, ride as well. And yeah, I'm going to take it out and just floor it through the through the woods, I guess. So yeah, let's go for a ride, eh? Yeah, to be honest, I don't actually know that much about the Honda XR250. Um, I mainly got it based on just price availability. Um, and it, it, it does have like, you know, everything I need. It's even got like a little um, connector you can just put in the back of your bike if your battery goes flat, connect it to your mate's bike and then you can charge it. Um, well, start it, I guess. Which is uh, pretty helpful if you run out of battery out in the wilderness, in the bush. But uh, other than that, I, <laughs> I just, I don't know much about it. Um, I'm not gonna do a bike review for a while. Uh, I just wanna, you know, get used to it see what it's like off-road and on-road and yeah so far so good I'm enjoying it uh, I've only had it for a few days I haven't had any problems with it I uh, actually tried to start it the other day and it didn't start I was shitting myself and then I realized the kill switch was on so I don't know who did that someone in my family and that sucked um, I was you know going down my street roll trying to roll start it and yeah it just didn't start I was shitting myself thought I bought a faulty bike but as soon as I click the kill switch back on, or off, I guess, um, it started first try straight away. So, you know, whew, that was a close one. So yeah, the reason, I don't know if many of you watch me quite regularly, but I haven't actually done many vlogs in the last week. Well, I haven't done any vlogs in the last week. I have recorded a couple, but I haven't put any up. I have been a bit busy. Um, I've got exams coming up, so I've been doing a bit of study. And yeah, I was buying this bike as well, so. I was trying to make sure I got all the money and everything like that. Sorry about that. You got a lot more coming. Um, this video should be up by the end of this weekend. And also I have a higher sung review coming up. Um, I've already filmed and I'm going to post up in a little bit. Um, I just did the review on my SZ6R, so I'm going to space it out a little bit. Um, I still have a lot coming up. The fact that I got this for off-road now means that I will be doing a lot more off-road videos as well. Obviously not as many as I am as vlogs, because I'm not going to go every weekend away, but um, I'm going off-road riding tomorrow, so I'm taking another video then, um, post it up. To be honest, I'm going to be coming off bad. Here's a picture of me last time. Like, fuck, I came off upside down, bike landed perfectly upside down. I was just, I said I was just checking my tyres, but you know, it sucked. I hope that doesn't happen again. I'm going to take it pretty easy. Um, as this bike doesn't have the off-road tyres yet, which I will be getting soon, I'm going to try and stick to more um, trails. Um, harder ground, I guess. Good looking out, Willis. So, just to ask around, uh, I am looking to get more stickers for the front of this bike. As you saw in the intro, I do have a uh, lead pin, slippery mongoose and cooling HD on it, and also a drift sticker, but um, I'm trying to fill it up with motor vlog stickers. If you do have motor vlog stickers, make sure to send me a message. Or the uh, best way to contact me is probably on Facebook. I'll put my link there. Um, just send me a message saying you do have stickers. I'm happy to pay for them. Um, you know, I just need some um, 
stickers to uh, put on the speed camera. Fuck. <laughs> oh, motorbikes! I wasn't speeding, but jeez. Rear front facing, useless to motorbikes. <whistles> anyway, um, yeah, fucking. They're good at hiding us, so. Um, back to, yeah, un get, get us some stickers. You guys got any, um, I won't be making stickers at all until, you know, I'm a bigger channel. But um, if you do have any stickers, you're happy to sell me or give me, make sure you flick me a PM on my Facebook. And yeah, I'll get in contact with you. So yeah, I'd say, um, I'd say like most, if not all, motor vloggers watch other motor vloggers. For me, I tend to watch, you know, a couple of videos from this motor vlogger, a couple from this one. And I try to sort of watch as a bigger range rather than just the same person over and over. I mean, I do watch some people over and over, but I sort of try to flick it out over a lot of people. Um, so I thought the question I'd ask is those people that got sport bikes or super sports or nakeds or anything like that, have you ever thought of getting a road trail and why? If you haven't, if you have, um, you know, I thought I'd ask this question. I mean, I got this based on the fact that I wanted a road trail for off-road. Um, and yeah, I want to have fun. Still young, still fun. Why not, I guess? They're pretty dangerous um, off-road, but you know, who cares? So um, yeah, I thought I'd put a question out there. Why have or haven't you thought or got a road trail or even just a dirt bike? Um, yeah, why not just a dirt bike either? Uh, you're not into it maybe or are into it, don't have the money, just rather a sports bike, would rather speed rather than versatility I guess you could say. I don't know. Let me know, hey? Let me know. Let's go in here. So, I've got to ask you guys to bear with me for my first few off-road motor vlogs. Um, I do have to get used to all the camera angles, how hard it will be to hear me because I've got a different helmet for it, and um, you know, all that sort of stuff. Uh, you know, just give us a bit of time. But I hope you guys like watching both on road and off road motor vlogs. If you don't, um, just stick to my other ones, my either road or off road motor vlogs, whichever one you prefer. If you do, more range, enjoy. Um, the motor vlogs sort of go about different things that are happening at the time, so you know, there might be an off road and then an on road and then an off road and then an on road, and I'll try and keep you know a fair amount of both. But yeah, for the next couple of probably month or so, I will be mainly doing off road or motor vlogs on this bike just because you know I just got it and it's fun to ride. Um, I've still got a couple of things like going out on a quad and stuff like that to do vlogs on. So I hope you guys like this vlog, um, new bike, awesome, anyone else thinking of getting a road trailer or XR250, be sure to give me a buzz, um, mainly on Facebook, I mean you can just in the comments as well, and yeah I'll be sure to check it out. I don't know too much about off-roads or well, road trails and XR250s, but you know, better than nothing I guess, I do have one, but just haven't had it for long. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'll see you in the next video, which will probably be my higher sung review. I'll catch you guys later. Listen.